Beardo Benjo. It was never my plan or intention to be sitting here right now about to jump into what looks to be a fairly terrifying VR horror experience. I have a schedule. I plan my content out two to three weeks ahead of time. I like to know what I'm doing on any given day and it's good to have that visibility. That's just the kind of person I am. Today I was supposed to be checking out a sword fighting game in VR. It looked fantastic. It was going to have a new update today and I was going to be checking that out. But as sometimes happens, the update's been delayed. So I've had to think on my feet and find something else to do. And this is where I've landed. Normally I have to prepare myself to play horror games. I love them, they're my favourite genre, but there is an element of preparation that needs to go into it. So I'm... I'm... not ready. Today, as a last minute addition, I'm going to be checking out Kobold VR Experience. Now this is Chapter 1, Kobold Chapter 1, but this came out back in 2018. So I don't know if there's still going to be a Chapter 2 or Chapter 3. It's meant to be a very short, very realistic looking, from the screenshots I've seen anyway, VR horror experience. Less of a game, more of an experience, but we're about to find out. This is under £5. It's £3 something on Steam. So. This could be an absolute bargain if this scares me. If you're looking for a spooky horror game or you want something that you can throw your friends and family into to scare them, then for under a fiver, we might be onto something here. Before we jump into this, I will be starting a proper horror VR playthrough on the channel, full playthrough very soon. I'm going to be playing through Exorcist Legion starting not next week, but the week after. So don't forget to hit subscribe. Drop a like on this, this video here because it all helps. And uh, yeah, I'll see you see you for that one as well, because that's going to be that's going to be a barrel of laughs, isn't it? Right. Let's jump into Kobold VR experience. I've not played this. I'm going in blind and I'm scared. I don't have my brown pants on. So let's hope I don't make a mess. Off we go. OK, here we go. So Kobold VR experience. I'm standing out here in the fog. Uh, not sure why. Don't really like it. It's a bit it's a bit creepy. It's a little bit ominous. I'm just going to jump in. I'm not going to dilly dally. I'm not going to waste any time, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm also testing my new microphone today. I'm um, going to see how well this holds up. See if I scream into it how badly it overloads. Probably quite terribly. Okay, here I am. I've loaded in inside Kobold. I've got a little bag next to me and there's a phone constantly ringing over there. Um, got some nice little comfort options here. We've got graphics quality. We've got movement style. Um, I've changed rotation to smooth because I don't like snap. It's quite a slow smooth, but that's fine. Uh, walking speed is fast. Head bob is off. Um, oh! What the hell? That phone is still going. Mysterious case of Casper Hutter. So... I seem to have come here to Germany to investigate the disappearance of this of this little, little boy, it seems. Casper? Yeah, so I seem to be here investigating the disappearance of this little boy. Um, let's get a light on, shall we? Yeah, that's much better. Uh, my wife or girlfriend, she she's not happy. She's she's upset. She, she rung me on the old... Uh, on my Apple, my iPhone 3, and uh, she she kind of was unhappy about that, me being here. I think I can play that message again. Uh, here we go. Hey, hon. Are you still in Germany? I know the story and the research is important to you, but it's just getting out of hand. I'm worried about you. Please be careful or come back home. Please call me back. Love you. So I don't have an option to actually phone her back. That's it. That, she's just she's just called and left that message. Um, I can also sit here and watch these little videos uh, that kind of give me a bit of background about what's going on. He did some time in a psychiatric ward, but was released for lack of evidence. They never found the bodies. This is quite creepy. This gives kind of a a real life kind of subtext and and, and oh, air of kind of terror to the whole thing because it's actual people. I can look at pictures, look at that. What's, what is that? Some kind of power outlet. That's creepy. Why has he got a... What's that? Is it a wigwam? Or a teepee? Can't remember what they're called. Right, okay, yeah. There's a demon. There's some kind of demon. 
And there's a Blair Witch stick man. This is great. There's a lot of keys. Coming back to the first picture. Okay, so uh, I've also got a video message, it seems. Uh... Hello, mate. You alright? I tried to get into the house. I just made it to the second floor because there was a crazy man showed up. He's, he's carrying an axe and talking to himself. I don't know if he, this guy was on drugs or something. Or I bet he crazy. was. But he did draw stuff on the walls and. And yeah, so I heard noise from up the attic. I tried to get in there, but it was locked. So. Oh, I heard noises from up there. I don't know if people living there or something like that, but dude, if you try to get into this house, don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah. Well, I clearly have to go there, don't I? Let me know if you receive the message. And take care. Bye. Oh, great. <sighs> what have I printed? Am I printing something? Oh, I am. What have I got here? Oh, it's a picture of the, the man that was on the video. Release form. By signing this release, I understand this permission signifies that photographic or rec video recordings may, may be electronically displayed via the internet. Oh, it's like a... Okay, right. Can I take my phone with me? Oh, I can. What about a coffee? Nope, that's not important. Phone's important. What about this? Nope, not important. What about this? Nope, not important. The phone, though. Got the phone in my bag. That's good news. Right, nothing else there. Okay. I think I have to go out into the world now, which is terrifying. Uh, suspected of murder, abduction of child. Okay, so there's this guy called Friedrich, and he's he's taken little Casper, and I need to find out where Casper's gone, don't I? All right, big swig of coffee before we go. That's it. Delicious. Right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Walk here to start. I don't want to. Uh, don't kill me. Oh, my God. Right. Here I am. That's my car. Uh, got no choice but to go in there, I guess. Oh, I don't want to. Ooh. I don't want to. How about I just run around out here for a bit? You know? See what's cracker lacking. What is that? Can't go any closer. Uh, Elton Hafton for here Kinder. Kinder is children, isn't it, right? I think I know that much. Ah! That's, that's Jimmy the Lock. Is that working? Uh, oh! Uh, oh no! Don't go! Don't do that! No! Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. It's all good. What in the crap? Hello? Why? Hello? Hello? This is dark. Oh no! Oh, deary, deary me. Someone's watching. Someone's keen. Oh, hello. All right. Uh-huh. All right, okay. <laughs> no. I'm not about the children's hands. Nah, I'm not going in there. Ooh. Should I go up where the bucket came from or into the room with the child hand? I think I prefer my... Oh, my lordy. This is horrible! Maybe I should check the door below. We don't want to check the door below. You absolute shit. Oh man, this has got some great sound design. It's like really nice looking as well. Um, I don't know what they've used to kind of make this look so nice. Um, 
it's, it's strange. It almost looks like things are made out of cardboard with kind of photos overlaid. Like photo textures kind of laid on top of the game world. Ah, oh, why? Oh, that's disgusting. Right, okay. What? Why am I here? What am I doing here? Oh, what is that in there? What even is that in there? Oh, I don't know what that is. Nah. Nah. Right, that is brick. This is horrible. Why do people make games like this? Uh, hello? Uh, right, what we got? What we got? What was that? Baby Seaf? Sponge? Put that in the bag. Nope. Okay, I can't have the sponge. The sponge isn't important. It's not crucial to a puzzle that I need to solve. What the hell? Is that a window? Oh! Piss off. Piss right off. Uh-huh. Her face has been scribbled out. Can I keep that? Nope. Can't keep anything. I just look at stuff. Alright, chuck it in the bath. Put it in the bloody bath. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is... Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, that's interesting. The little hole down into the bit where the poo goes is at the front of that toilet. Interesting. That's a strange design. I've not seen that design before. Is that normal in other places? My like, my toilet poo hole is like here, you know, at the back of the toilet, not at the front. Oh, what? Ugh, no, why? That was disgust. I did not expect that to happen. Why? They knew I was going to point at that little hole, didn't they? That's why they put it at the front to kind of throw people like me off. Oh, I feel sick. Oh, they're still just wandering about. Look at them. Look at that. Disgusting. Once again. Right, okay. <sighs> you know, I know nothing can hurt me in here. Whoa, pigeon! But I still hate it. I still hate it so very much. That's where I came in. God, I just hate this. I must be able to find a way to turn the electricity back on. Why are you whispering? Oh. Oh, this is a good room. There's lots of demonic symbols on the walls. Uh, aha. Okay. What's that for? Close that. Get in there. Uh huh. Yeah. Do that. Uh, play. Although the first archaeological evidence of ruins is a tool for conducting rituals and magic spells, dates back to the fourth century. Uh huh. Ruins have a much older history. It's a rune then. I haven't seen a VHS tape in years. Ruins were intended to perform a wide range of functions, but to hmm. Ah. Nice. I need to find the electricity tonight. That's not going to turn on until I do. Well, that's gone deadly silent. Here it is. Uh -huh. If I can only find a spare fuse. Right. We need some spare fuses for the fuse machine. That's that's not creepy at all. That's the the teepee from the from the picture. Oh, chalk. Oh. Right. Can I draw with the chalk? It's the VR test, isn't it? Oh, I can. It's hard though. That's a that will do. That's a B. B E E. That's an A. Beer. Duh. Oh. 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Why is it so hard to draw in this game? Oh no, it's actually alright, I'm getting there. I was here! Look at that, that's actually wonderful, you'd think that's part of the game. That's pretty good, right? Little cap. There we go. That's pretty good. Stupid chalk. Right, uh, what am I doing in this terrifying bedroom? It doesn't help that the, the the torch is good, but like your line of vision is really restricted by it. Key! I wonder if this unlocks the attic. What was that? What is that? Did I drop that key on the floor, by the way, just then? Or did it actually go into my bag? It's in the bag. Right, so the bag is useful. It is actually doing stuff. Oh, praise the sun. What is that? Can I have it? Nope. Can't have the scary Blair Witch thing. I'm not going to sit around and listen to these tapes, you know. I'm just not going to. I don't think anything good can come of that. Ah, uh, okay. Oh! Okay, if you walk too far away from the door, they automatically close. Oh, is that a fuse? Perfect. One of these will do the trick. Uh huh. We got some lights, baby. We got some lights. It ain't great, but it's something. Something's better than nothing, right? Oh! Who are you? Why are you here? Rat. Who did that? Uh, stop it, doors! Is that light on? Is that really on? Christ, it is. That's not great, is it? Dear Richard, our move went well. The house is beautiful and right in the middle of a forest. So Casper can play and explore nature every day. The neighbors are very welcoming. Unfortunately, we are the only family with a small child in the house, Ooh, so I pressure. fear that Casper might miss out on contact with other children. How are you, my dear friend? How are your studies going? P.S. The plan stays the same. It's becoming more difficult to smuggle letters over the border, so I will collect them and send them as a package once every few months. Okay. Yours, Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth, for that exposition. What is this? Dear Richard, oh, it's just too much, isn't really it? We love our new environment. Waking up to bird song, studying by the river, playing hide and seek with Casper in the middle of ancient trees. Hello. Hi, oh, you right? Yesterday, Casper was demanding the whole day to get something hey! sweet. He refused to eat soup or anything. What? I can't understand you, mate. What are you saying? Are you coming in? What's... Are you going to throw that at me? Don't you dare. What are you doing? You absolute nutter. Leave that axe in there. Don't get the axe. You twat. Oh my no. He's coming in, isn't he? Oh, bugger. Right, okay. Well, that's an element of terror that I didn't expect to have to deal with. There's a man coming with an axe. Dead pigeon. Right, we haven't got time to listen to Elizabeth's letters, have we? Things are getting a bit... Oh. Hello? Who's that? What? That's terrifying. Nope. In the bin. Not interested in that. What is this again? Look. How come all these mirrors are looking at this? I just don't understand where it's leading to. 
What? Oh, God. I'm taking my sweet-ass time with this game. Ooh, my torch. Torch. Oh, God. Don't be something in here. Don't be something in here. Please, no. Please, don't do it to me. Thank you, thank you so far. Okay. Oh. What's going on here? Oh, this isn't good, is it? She's doing a bloody ritual. They never end well. House. Uh, I've scrubbed all the pictures of uh, this lady's face out. What did she do wrong? They look happy there. This kind of stuff is so good for building kind of atmosphere. It's, it's so slow burn. It's genuinely terrifying. The Excuse me, what was that? They've gone into a symbol. Oh no, look at that. It's made one of the runes. I'm not touching them. This feels more like exploring the house from uh, Blair Witch uh, than Blair Witch did. This feels more Blair Witch than Blair Witch. How mad is that? Oh, right, where's that guy? Do I want to watch this tape? <gasps> Don't be something creepy. Brilliant. It's the bloody Illuminati. Rune Spellcasting, Volume 2. It's not got any sound. Oh, it's just it's just it's just creepy, isn't it? It's just doing a great job of setting the tone and building atmosphere. Uh, what does that rune mean? That's kind of the way the photos landed. Uh Therisaz is the third rune of the Elder Thurak. Pronounced Thorisaz. Thor is as. Thor is as. Element fire. Literal meaning giant thorn. In spells and magic, when carved or drawn upon a portal door, Thor is as will remove the barrier and open a gateway that could otherwise not be opened. Esoteric interpretations. Thor is as is the sacrifice that one must make in order to make progress. It is the force which breaks through shields and barriers and clears the way for a new path. Great information. What about this one? I found this one. Uh, Changeling. Oh, I've seen movies about them. A couple of good films about them, actually. Yeah, they bear the likeness of the child, um, but they're actually just little demons. Weird little demons that kind of pretend that like they're your kid, and then you take them home, and then at that point it's too late. Right, I've got a key. Let's try that in the attic. Kind of still worried about that man that's come in, you know. Oh. Come on. Turn back on. Please turn back on. Oh, bugger. What was that? Oh, I don't like any of this. Give me back my torch. Give me back my torch. Oh, God. Oh, why? Oh, Richard, I finally managed to open the door. Oh, God. Dear Richard, I finally managed to open ah. the door. Things have gotten worse. It's becoming dangerous. The neighbors think that I'm some kind of a witch. You are, One clearly. One has threatened to report me. Can you believe it? What happened to our community here? If the Stasi finds out about my research, I will surely go to prison. I must be more careful. My next letter will be written in invisible ink. Brilliant. It will be easier to get it over the border that way. I don't know who to trust anymore. Not even Friedrich, who never Friedrich. believed me. Yours, Elisabeth. Right, Friedrich is the man that's kidnapped the child, isn't he? Oh, 
some of your letters. Dear Richard, Hello. this won't be my last letter. Oh no. Pixie is not what I thought. Whatever he is, it is evil. I don't know how to stop him and Casper is in danger. I'm using the portal spell to cross over to the other side. Other side? If my research is true and Pixie is what I think he is, I will be able to contain him there. At least this way, Casper will be safe. <sighs> okay, so they have got Casper. Oh, this what is horrible. What the hell is going on in here? I don't know, mate. I really don't know. We've got a bloody face on the wall. My torch doesn't work. There's Casper. Look, picture of Casper on the floor. Ah, oh, no. That's the portal, then. Casper, mate. Where are you? Oh, why won't my torch work? Do you want me to pick up the candle instead? That's just crap. That is crap. Can I get rid of this torch then? <laughs> Why? Oh, you big old shit. Hello? Okay, I can't open this. Uh, maybe I have to like... Oh! I thought I'd pick up the handle then, but... It looks like I should be able to open this. Portal spell. Take the black chalk that is found unrooked. Unrooked? For. Unlooked for. Make thereof the symbol of Thurizaz, the doorway that concealeth the portal. This will mark the beginning of the journey. Right, where's the chalk? Is that the chalk there? That looks like a little turd. Which Which one do I need to do? Do I need to do this one? Alright, uh the good symbol, yeah? That's doing something, isn't it? Is that it? Oh Oh no. Stay back, I've got a bloody candle. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have done Ooh. Okay. Oh, why has it gone dark? Oh no, noises. Oh. Whoa. Hello, mate. Hey, what's that snore? What? Oh God, it's in. What? Hey. Oh, hello, mate. Oh no. Okay, sorry. Um, I think I've just got him. Well, I've got him killed, haven't I? Put that back. That just that just doesn't work anymore. Okay, well the man's dead. That's good. At least he's not here to kill me. Oh no. Uh huh. What are you doing? Stop it. Oh, I'm so confused. Oh my god, it's disorientating. What? What do you want? Maybe I shouldn't take this with me. That's... Oh! What is that? some laughing coming from over here. Get through the fog. Oh, Jesus, no. What is happening? Where am I? Oh! <laughs> Walls! This is well creepy. What's that up there? Right, there's a demon up there. Uh... I can hear talking like all around me. Alright, let's go down here. Oh no. Oh, what are you? What? Don't like that. Did you see that little child thing there? Alright, I've got to go in here. Oh. 
What way? That way? Not that way. Okay. Really this way? I feel like you're... you. That, that feels like it's wrong, right? Oh, I guess we're going in. Oh, if you've lied to me, little children... What's that up there? If you've lied to me, little children, I will come for you with the wrath of God. Oh, no. What is that? Hello. That way, okay, all right. I'm trust. I'm trusting you so much. Ooh. Oh. All right. He's there. It's so dark. I'm trying to follow you. Where are you going? Okay. Oh no! It's like the bloody weeping angels. Hello, Casper, mate. I want to follow you, but it's just so, it's so horrendously dark. Oh God, it is horrendously dark. I'm trying. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, you're gonna kill me. What? That is terrifying. Is it, are you supposed to be moving? I don't know what's happening. <gasps> what are you? <laughs> Why is Gollum here? Why is Gollum here? Is that the end? <sighs> oh, good God. You know, in the grand scheme of things, that wasn't that bad. It was more tension building than jump scary, and it's jump scares that I absolutely hate. Oh, that was cool. That was that was probably worth three quid, right? Am I just stuck here now forever? Oh yeah, it's the end. Yeah, that was definitely worth three quid. Um, it's a shame I haven't seen a chapter two or a chapter three or any kind of continuation of this since the release. And this has been out since 2018, so it's not like it's a new product. But the production quality is really high. Like, the environments look really nice. It runs a little bit laggy every now and then. It's a little bit kind of stuttery every now and then. But on the whole, it's great. And it does a good job of building tension and keeping you on edge. It's a shame it can't kind of capitalize on that and really hammer home some terrifying moments. But for what it is, for £3, that's cool. A good little experience to throw a friend into who might not have tried VR before and scare the absolute shit out of them. Uh, I really enjoyed that. This has been Kobold VR Experience Chapter 1. And uh, I'm going to take the headset off now and get the hell out of here because it's horrible. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Take care. I'll see you soon for another one. See you later. Goodbye.